going to have a look at Shuffling Blues, a piece by Merv Young for the London College of Music, Grade 2 Acoustic Guitar Syllabus. I love it. It's um, got some really kind of traditional, classic, cool acoustic blues stuff going on in the key of A, and I think you should check it out. Enjoy. Okay, so let's have a look at the first eight bars. Um, I'm going to talk in terms of strings and fret numbers, so zero for an open string, or two if you press down the second fret. Now and again I might mention the notes of um, um, the notes that we're playing. Um, if you don't know them, it's a good idea to try and learn the names of the notes on the fretboard, but don't worry, you don't need to know them at this stage. Um, so, we start off with a two-bar riff. And it's happening over the underlying chord or harmony. There's an A7 in the background on the um, London College of Music backing track. You can actually hear two guitars. There's some strummed chords going on whilst the uh, kind of lead riffs over the top. We're concentrating on the lead riff. So we're going to play zero zero twice on the A string. I pick that down up. Then we go to the second fret of the G string and we play that twice. So we've got O, O, or zero, zero on the A string, and then two, two on the G string. We're playing A, both of those notes are A's, just an octave apart. That's an A, that's an A. After those four notes, we play zero, zero on the G string. So we went zero, zero on the A, two, two on the G, zero zero on the G and we finish the bar with two two on the D string. So O O on the A, two two on the G, zero zero on the G, two two on the D. Now I'm getting the second fret notes with my second finger. You could get them with the first finger if you want, but I'd really recommend trying to use the second. Later we're going to play the first fret and it's really handy if you've got the first finger for the first fret, second for the second fret and the third finger for the third fret. Let's play that first bar again. And I alternate pick there. That just means I'm going down, up, down, up, down, up, down, up. The second bar gives us open A twice, second fret on the D, second fret on the G. Now that second fret on the G, that rings for two and a half beats. It's a quaver tied into a minimum, so we get one and two and three, four. Okay, second bar again. Let's put bar one and bar two together nice and slowly. Let's do that once more. Bar one and two together. You might see my second finger when it's on the D is on the tip of the finger, this part. And when it's on the G, it's the pad that's getting it. I'm kind of collapsing down onto the G string. You don't have to do that. You could use the tip of both fingers, or you might want to use the first finger for the D string, second fret, second finger for the G string, second fret. One more bit quicker. A one, two, three, four. And it does it again. So bars one to four, one, two, three, and four is just a two bar riff played twice. So bar three is O, O on the A, two, two, zero, zero on the G, two, two on the D, and then bar four is O, O on the A, two on the D, two on the G. Make sure the last note in the two bar riff, the second fret of the G, this one, Make sure you let it ring. It's tempting to kind of play a staccato or just for half a beat or something. It needs to last for the rest of the bar. Okay, now bar one, bars one to four um, are really worth digging in with and getting nice and fluent with. See if you can do it. So maybe you could record it on a tablet or a 
laptop or um, your mobile phone or something. See if you can do it and listen back and be really, really impressed with yourself. You don't want the notes being... <laughs> Take your time to make everything nice and fluid. Yep, because you're gonna play that again, that two bar riff, so it's kinda gotta be your best friend. Okay. Bar five is played, whilst well, the underlying chord or harmony goes to a D7, and it's just four notes. It's zero, zero on the D, two on the G, one on the B. Zero, zero on the D, two on the G, one on the B, and the rhythm is. The rhythm of bar five is the same as bar two and four. Okay, so zero, zero on the D, two on the G, one on the B. Then bar six is zero, zero on the D again, two on the G, three on the B this time. Oh, sorry. And I get that three with my third finger or ring finger. So it's zero, zero on the D, two on the G, three on the B, and then on beat four, we add in one on the B. So we get for bar six. Let's do bars five and six together, starting with a zero on the D. Bar seven and eight is this. Our phrase from before, which I said was worth really getting fluid with. So, should we try bars one, two, eight? One, two, three, four. Okay, bars 9 and 10 give us that little thing. We're dealing with double stops. First finger goes on the first fret of the G and the second finger on the second fret of the D string. So, and we're going to pluck both strings at the same time, just the middle two strings. If you're not using a plectrum, you could use your thumb and index finger or your first and second finger. Okay, so, second on the D, first on the G. If you're plucking through with your plectrum and you're worried about catching that open B string, maybe try and have some of the flesh of your first finger with the fretting hand touching that B string, yeah? So if you do accidentally pluck it or strum through it, it doesn't resonate. Okay, we hit that fragment of the second fret of the D and the first fret of the G five times. So we get one, two, three. The same length as quavers. And then we hit two staccato crotches at the end. So we come in on the end of beat one. And then it's two on the G string and a zero on the D. And the rhythm there is one and two and. So we play on one and, the beats, rest on beat two. And the end of two, we hit it for two and a half beats. Now, with all that talk of counting and rests and quavers and minims is confusing, don't worry too much. Listen to the backing track that London College of Music um, have made available on their website, yeah. Let's just recap that rhythm slowly. That's what we're going for. Now to change from the two on the D, I just take the first finger off the G and the second finger goes down to the second fret of the G. That's our rhythm. Ba -da 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 -da. off the first 12 bars with open A string twice, three on the A, four, four on the A. So there's five attacks of the A string there. We 
we've got that rhythm one and two, three and yeah. The three is a crotchet and I'm getting that with my second finger. And then we get zero, one on the D string. And we finish the bar off with two on the D, one on the G, zero on the B, zero on the E. So we get. Now you'll notice in the 12th bar there, where we've got two on the D and one on the G, that's kind of the same fragment that we had back in bar nine. That's our first 12 bars. Okay, let's play bars 9 to 12. So we're going to go. You can let those notes in bar 12 ring into each other. Kind of making the chord of the E7. Okay. Then we're into bar 13 and the cycle starts again. So we've got four bars to play over an A7 4. And we start with something familiar. So bar 13 is the same as bar 1. 0 0 on the A, 2 2 on the G, 0 0 on the G, 2 2 on the D. And then we go 0 0 on the A, 2 on the D, 2 on the G. Slight variation now, because on beat four we put two notes. Well, on four and we get zero two. So we go. And then we're back into our phrase um, that we start the song with. So let's pick it up at bar 13 again. We already know that. Bar 14 is zero, zero on the A, two on the D, two on the G, and then. Zero, 2 at the end of the bar on the G. Then we play. Bar 15 is the same as bar 13, or bar 1, you can think of it. Always look for the stuff in a piece you already know. It makes things much easier. Bar 16. We already know that one. Okay. Bar 16 is the same as bar 14. So if we play from bar 13 the second time we're on A7 for four bars, we get. Okay, okay we're into bar 17. And bar 17 and 18 are the same. It's the same phrase, just played twice. And it's all based around a D7 chord. That's the underlying harmony there, that's what the other guitar's playing. But we're also going to put that chord shape on the fretboard with our fretting hand. So I'll talk you through it if you don't already know a D7. It's open D, second finger goes on the second fret of the G, first finger on the first fret of the B, and the third finger on the second fret of the high E. And we play... So we play the D string open twice, and then the high E, B, G, B. Now I didn't tell you the frets because if you've kept the chord down and you pluck the string I mentioned, you're already playing them. You get zero, zero, that's in our chord. Two on the high E's in our chord, second fret on the high E. First fret on the B's in the chord. And then the second fret of the G, first fret of the B are also in the chord. So we get. And we do that twice. Fantastic. Then we're into bar 19. If you're using the London College of Music book, we're down to the fourth system of music here. Second to last bar on the second to last line. And we get. Zero, zero on the A. Two, two on the D. Zero, zero on the G. 2-2 two, two on the D. You might remember that. Bar 1. Cropping up again. So, that was bar 19. Bar 20 is 2-2 two, two on the D string. 2 on the G. And then 0-2. So we get... 
that one again. So ba 19. Sorry. So let's just have a look at that bar 20 in isolation. We haven't actually seen this one yet. I was wrong just then. It's two, two. So two on the D, two on the D again, and then two on the G. And then finishing the bar, zero, two. Now I get the two on the D to start with, with my second finger. You play that twice, and then a two on the G. I'm playing that with my third finger. And at the end of the bar, lift off the two on the G for a zero, and then two again. So we get. Okay, then we're back on a phrase we've already seen. We've got that E7 fragment on two on the D, one on the G. You may remember seeing that in bar nine. Okay, bar 21 and 22 um, are the same as nine and 10. We've got that. So one on the G, two on the D, five times. And then two on the G, zero on the D. And then we get. We've seen that before in bar 11 and 12, so this is bar 23 and 24, 0, 0 on the A, 3 on the A for a crotch, it's a 1 and 2, 3 and 4 and, so after 0, 0 it's 3 on the A, then 4, 4 on the A, 0, 1 on the D. Then we play 2 on the D, 1 on the G, 0 on the B, 0 on the E. And on B4 of the penultimate bar, we put a low E. Let me show you that bar. Now, look where my second finger is. On the second fret of the D, I'm gonna hit A and D together for a minimum, and to finish off, two on the G, two on the B, three on the high E. So the last three bars gives us. So bar the two on the G and the two on the B with your index finger if you want. Bottom line. And there we have it. A wonderful piece. This one by Merv Young. Classic blues in A. Calling it Shuffling Blues for Grade 2. London College of Music Acoustic Guitar. I love it.